Hello, and welcome to Crow Mountain Armory. My name is David, and we're going to be doing a series here talking about surplus army goods, seeing if they still have relevance in uh, modern contexts, and seeing how we can set these things up and use them as alternatives to maybe more expensive or uh, you know more uh, traditional kind of stuff that you'd buy from mainstream distributors. I'm really fortunate. I live really close to a, a, a surplus store where they've got a fantastic selection of these kinds of things. And today I decided that we were going to take a look at this uh, Type 63 Chinese SKS uh, magazine bandolier, which we would now, I mean, probably more call it load-bearing vest or load-bearing equipment. This this piece of kit is uh, is really interesting. It's very lightweight. It's pretty minimalist. I think. I, I tried to do some research on this and I couldn't find a, a lot of information about it. I think these are for uh, like rear line troops that were equipped with their um, their SKS, their Type 63 SKSs, um, because the Chinese military at that time was all, still using AKs as well as the SKS. So I'm guessing these were not meant to see frontline combat. I tried to go see and do research to see how they set their kits up. Um, back in, in the Chinese invasion of Vietnam and uh, couldn't find a whole lot, probably because these were with uh, rear echelon troops and were not part of their invasion. They were more using the, the AK pattern that I'd love to also feature here because they're pretty cheap too. This was $10 at the, the store and you know I've seen them online anywhere between 10 to maybe $20 at the maximum. And that sounds like a lot for some, you know, piece of trash, but it actually winds up being a pretty good value for the buy, I think. And these, these are, there's some interesting quirks to it, but I think that, that they're worth working around for something that's cheap. If you were to try to buy something like this with a Condor new setup, even if you bought a used setup of Condor equipment, you're probably looking at 80 to $150 worth of stuff, probably probably just $90 just in the form of magazine carriers alone. So something like this as an alternative for somebody who's budget conscious, who is just really looking to get into the hobby as a starter, uh, this is not a bad deal. And it actually comes together pretty well. It comes on pretty quick, pretty easy. You just slip one shoulder on, find the other shoulder, slip that one on, and buckle this buckle in the front. It took me a little time to adjust it. These adjustments are, are uh, not quick and easy adjusters, but they're they're very sturdy. And you know this this is plastic, but it's a fairly thick plastic, and I don't think it's at risk of breaking anytime soon. It's probably one concern that I have with the durability of this, um, and that's in these little polymer um, closure tabs here on the chest. Uh, this is probably the most likely thing to break. But I looked at the construction on them. It pretty, should be pretty easy to replace them or repair them with wire or with 3D printed materials. So I, I don't even consider that too much of a, of a negative in this case. Um, the, the canvas ducting is actually quite durable. It feels very strong. I don't see any wear on most of these. Like I said, I suspect most of them were used by rear echelon troops and didn't really see a lot of combat because I haven't been able to find any pictures of anybody using it in combat. Um, you know, that, take that with a grain of salt because I mean it's China and very deeply communist China and, and probably not a lot of information coming out of it in the first place but uh, in this case you know I, I don't think most of these have seen combat at all. Uh, so they're in great shape and great condition probably just wear from being in storage. And uh, there's, there's a lot of good pros to it and some cons. I'll start with the pros. Pros, I feel like these, these pockets are actually quite big and thick, and they can carry um, quite a variety of things in them. Um, they're just the right size for a lot of different things. And these closures are fantastic. They're a little uh, canvas piece, and then they slips through um, the plastic there once it clips on, and it... It doesn't go anywhere. These are not popping out on you randomly. And it's not easy to just pull them out either. You have to actually grab them so you're not going to lose it when you just walk by a tree or something. These have really good retention. I'm shocked at how well designed these are. And, uh, you know, they're, they're just the right size for 20-round Stenag magazines. 
And, you know, this is a little low capacity for some people. If you're doing competition, you probably don't want to have 20 rounders. But, you know, if you're just going to go on a hike and you want to carry an AR-15 with you, this is great. Perfect size for, you know, most applications. And the other nice thing is that they are actually big enough to carry Generation 3 20 round P mags with Ranger plates. And that's a really big thing. This is, I, I suggest with the Ranger plates, uh, especially because this, the geometry on these magazines catch on the uh, canvas lining here and that can cause the magazines to not come out really well if you don't have a good pull on them and a good you know rip to just take it right out and uh, but it fits them great uh, and that would give you if you had a full loadout of just magazines you know 120 rounds of ammunition on you but you probably don't need that much if you're just going on a hike so I actually only loaded up three of these pockets with magazines and uh, I've got these other pockets with some different stuff. So this is uh, just the right size to hold some medical in the form of an Israeli bandage, which just so happens to be about the same size as these 20 round Stenag magazines. And to fit with the theme of Chineseum, I have a Baofeng with an extended battery pack and it fits perfectly in these pockets. I mean, it's like the exact right depth to just stick out there with the antenna pointing out. And uh, yeah, it holds in great. You can put it in whichever pocket you want. Honestly, these hold these radios better than any of the dedicated radio holders I've ever bought for Baofengs. I, I, was, I was shocked when I tried that out and it fit perfectly and I was like, great you know lucky lucky accident and uh, one last thing that this does fit you know this is um, uh, airsoft uh, training grenade I guess um, you know so I you know most people don't have access to real grenades but uh, smokes anything that's in that form factor of a nice tall canister grenade that will fit inside this carrier and then moving on to some of the bonus features of this thing these magazine holders back here um, these were originally meant for uh, uh, potato masher grenades uh, the kind that has the grenade on the top and you just unscrew it and pull the bottom and throw the grenade but they fit perfect these Strybog uh, 32 round well no 30 round uh, magazines and uh, you know now I have one one carrier set up for both my PCC and my uh, my rifle and actually you know shockingly you don't need to take this thing off to get access to those magazines you can get access to them just fine from the front it's a little slower than you would want and it's on the uh, your weak side for the reload uh, so you know you don't want to you don't want to have to you know reach back here pull this out you know, you're holding the gun with this hand and then reload in, in a speed reload situation. But it is sufficient. It will work. And last but not least, we do have a little bit more medical back here in the form of a tourniquet. And it's not the easiest to get out, but you can get it out. And there you go. You got a full-size cat tourniquet back there. No issues getting that out, really, except for it's a little slower than you would if you had some high speed low drag plate carrier setup but very light not a whole lot of weight you have to add on to get that whole kit together it's it's very easy to walk around with very flexible um, and it holds everything tight to your body i can't it's comfortable i've a lot of plate carriers and a lot of load bearing equipment i've worn it's not really that comfortable this is comfy i could wear this all day not really have a problem with it wanted to go over a couple of really quick sec secondary features of this that um, you know you, you probably not the ideal way to run it not the way I would run it but you can run it this way um, first of all 30 round P mags do fit you know they just hang out there um, if you did something like this I'd suggest that you uh, find a way to 3d print or manufacture some kind of a retention system that's going to hold these mags in place because this will just flop right out, no problems, uh, <laughs> unless you get something that actively retains it. But if you're really interested in overloading this, 
30 round Stenag magazines will also fit in and interestingly enough you can fit two per pouch and when you do you kind of get this tiered effect where you have two magazines ready to draw and you can pull the first one out they retain each other as long as they're together and then when you're done with that magazine you can pull out the second one and you can double your load of 30 round magazines in all of these pockets I don't know if I would run it that way just because as soon as you start pulling mags you start dumping mags uh, but it can be run that way so if you really do want to you know if you do need to double up on on ammunition or something in your front pouch for like a competition run you can do that it's not going to be too big of a deal to get those rounds in there the question will be can you get them out fast and do you ever lose them on retention but I mean this is a surprising amount of stuff you can fit inside this this carrier and again ten dollars twenty dollar value you can't even approach Chinese made modern stuff for that price this is a really good deal and I would say worth every penny if you just want to have some loaner kit or if you just want to have something you can go hike in and not not look like you're Rambo walking around with <laughs> with plate carriers and everything on this is a good like starting equipment loaner gear just going around hiking again this is the most comfortable carrier I've ever worn spreads the weight really nicely onto your shoulders it doesn't pull you down and it doesn't have too much mass distributed onto the front um, it's all evenly distributed around your hips I could probably walk around in this all day not care at all there's something to be said for the effectiveness of some of this old equipment it really does work so I'd suggest you know take an opportunity if you do find one of these uh, online or at a local store pick it up get some of these uh, 20 round P mags with the Ranger plates load those up and you'll have a perfectly working plate carrier for pennies on the dollar compared to what you'd have to spend to get uh, a nice Haley strategic anyway that's it for today I'll be back with more of these like and subscribe I'd really appreciate it thank you